The Mary Rose is on display in a climatically controlled box in Portsmouth Credit Joe Pepler Exeter stock The wreck of the Mary Rose has started to collapse onto itself after conservationists finally managed to dry out the Tudor warship, 35 years after it was lifted from the seabed. For decades the timbers of the ship needed to be sprayed with water and wax constantly to prevent them rotting, but in 2013 the frame was enclosed and dried and now rests in a climatically controlled box in Portsmouth. However the drying process has brought a new problem. As the water was removed and replaced with a special polymer, the huge wooden beams have begun to shift, warping the original shape. Conservators have been forced to shore up the timber frame with scaffolding to prevent further movements and are monitoring the shift with special cameras. The beams have started to warp because they are not attached to anything speaking at New Scientist Live in central London, Dr. Eleanor Schofield, conservation manager for the Mary Rose, said the ship is now mostly dry. However although we put enough of the polymer in so that there is some stability, that is not to say there is not going to be any change or any movement. We only have one half of the hull, so the deck beams are not attached to anything on the other side. If you look very closely you will see there is scaffolding in places that we have had to install because there has this movement. We've also had various laser scans done on the hull and we're using those to understand the movement. We have a cross section of the hull and you can see through the years the hull has started to come down on itself and the deck beam has twisted since we're not spraying anymore. We can use this information to model how the ship is moving and help us understand what is going to happen in the future and then ultimately design a support system. The Mary Rose was Henry Villa's favorite warship the Mary Rose, which was the pride of Henry Villa's battle fleet, sank in the Third French War on July 19, 1545, with a loss of nearly 500 men and the ship's dog. The king is said to have watched her or stricken as she went down. Her remains were discovered on the seabed in 1971, preserved as a time capsule of daily life in Tudor England. She was raised in 1982, and in the course of nearly 30,000 dives archaeologists salvaged around 19,000 artifacts from the site. Mary Rose Drone Footage 0348